This is the second demonstration game, Determined Victory Squadron. The first move is the militia forward. It's just a tentative opening to engage the uh, opponent's intentions. The opponent does show their intentions quite quickly, bringing their air force forward. The missile moves forward. The anti-aircraft gun moves forward to serve as a defender. Okay, the militia moves over here. The anti-aircraft guns move forward, give more firepower towards the front line. The missiles move in closer. This engineer moves up to the river. This airplane makes a positioning move right here to the center of, as in the first demonstration game, Blue is interested in battle at sea. And this plane is positioning over towards the right side of the board. This gunship fires on the anti-aircraft piece. Now since this is in the water and this is in the land, and this one cannot move onto the land, it fires and captures this piece but stays in place. This Air Force piece moves forward and captures the infantry piece. This anti-aircraft gun moves up to the Air Force to drive him away. However, the Air Force goes deeper. The Air Force is now putting the Blue Commander in check. And in so doing, in future moves, this piece will have an extended heroic move. It will be able to go one step further than its original move because of this event of it putting the Commander in check. To get out of check, commander simply moves forward. The Air Force continues its assault aiming at the opponent's missile. While the missile has a range of two points, it's, that range is viewed in a literally circular region and so the range reaches this point but does not reach this point since it's a circle inscribed around these points here. The missile simply ducks out of the line of fire. Now, the other Air Force comes in and strikes the militia. The commander, to get out of check, goes to the headquarters and to do that just stacks up on top of that piece. The Air Force comes in and now it is attacking the commander. The commander has no escape. 